light has risen in the darkness for the upright of heart. The Lord is generous, merciful, and just. We offer this morning's Eucharist for the repose souls of John Ng, John Chong, Elizabeth Young, Lucas Chin, Aloysius Anthony, Eugene Ong, Mario John Lee, Maria Asunta Rodriguez. We pray for the special intentions of Francis Pereira and family, Andrew Han and family, Ling Kai Siu, Wong Chai Ming, Stephen and Jovita, who celebrates their wedding anniversary. In thanksgiving to Andrew Yep and family, Francis C.S. Tan, John Ng, and the Gonzalez family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with your spirit. spirit. To prepare our hearts and minds for this morning's Eucharist, let us pause to examine ourselves. For the times when we have failed to acknowledge the presence of God in our lives, the light amidst the darkness. Let us seek his mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my, my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, pray for, for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we ask, Almighty God, that the nativity of your Saviour of the world, made known by the guidance of a star, may be revealed ever more fully to our minds and our hearts. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Who can overcome the world? Only the man who believes that Jesus is Son of God. Jesus Christ who came by water and blood, not with water only, but with water and blood. With the Spirit as another witness, since the Spirit is the truth so that there are three witnesses, the Spirit, the water, and the blood, and all three of them agree. We accept the testimony of human witnesses, but God's testimony is much greater, and this is God's testimony, given as evidence for His Son. Everybody who believes in the Son of God has this testimony inside him. And anyone who will not believe God is making God out to be a liar because he has not trusted the testimony God has given about his son. This is the testimony. 
God has given us eternal life, and this life is in His Son. Anyone who has the Son has life. Anyone who does not have the Son does not have life. I have written all this to you, so that you who believe in the name of the Son of God may be sure that you have eternal life. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O praise the Lord Jerusalem. O praise the Lord Jerusalem. O praise the Lord Jerusalem. Zion, praise your God. He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed the children within you. O praise the Lord Jerusalem. He established peace on your borders. He feeds you with finest wheat. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. O oh, praise the Lord Jerusalem. He makes his word known to Jacob, to Israel, his laws and decrees. He has not dealt us with other nations. He has not taught them his decrees. O oh, praise the Lord Jerusalem. Proclaim to the pagans, glory to you, O Christ, believe in by the world. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to you, you Lord. Lord. Jesus was in one of the towns when a man appeared, covered with leprosy. Seeing Jesus, he fell on his face and implored him. Sir, he said, if you want to, you can cure me. Jesus stretched out his hand and touched him and said, Of course I want to be cured. And the leprosy left him at once. He ordered him to tell no one, but go and show yourself to the priest and make the offering for your healing it as Moses prescribed it, as evidence for them. His reputation continued to grow and large crowds would gather to hear him and to have their sickness cured. But he would always go off to some place where he could be alone and pray. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Leprosy. Lepus. At the time and in the context of Jesus in his culture and time, lepers were considered unclean people. They were ostracized by society. They were left in colonies, in camps, in caves, way, way out from society and community. They were considered the untouchables. They were, they were unclean. If you'd like to have a moment to capture the image or the experience of someone who is a leper, I'm just going to ask you to think for a moment, just to imagine for a moment, if you're sitting before a friend and you tell that person, I'm having the symptoms of COVID. Just for a moment when you tell someone, or you find someone in front of you, someone who's a close friend to you, someone who's a neighborhood, in the neighborhood who tells you, I think I'm having these symptoms of COVID now. What would be your reaction to that person? 
how would you relate to that person or how would others relate to you if you were struggling with those symptoms maybe let's be gentle this morning let's just say you're having the mild symptoms and you're telling someone i'm just having that sore throat i'm having that aches and that cough and that fever all of a sudden you will feel yourself in self self isolation everyone will just disperse everyone will just leave you alone and the best part of it is that if you've never been popular you would be popular at that point everyone would would have you as the subject of a conversation you know it's on the third block on the 16th floor that's where they live all of a sudden everyone knows you that's how the lepers are of the time of jesus it was what we call today a, a social stigma i'm saying this to you because i'm trying to get you into this beautiful gospel text of this leper he was the stigma he was a struggling man and he ran to jesus and he fell on his knees he pleaded to jesus for that healing moment god is with us the epiphany the manifestation of god and god healed him jesus healed him and gave him back the wholeness of life i have come that you may have life and life to the fullness john 10:10 that's how that guy experienced this past days the readings the reflection is all about the epiphany the manifestation the revelation god with us from a moment of hunger at the feeding of the multitudes god was with them at the moment when the boat was capsized in a strong storm do not be afraid i am with you god is with us and today you have the story of this leper who seek an a life and a life in abundance god was with him emmanuel god is with us and i said this morning just with this text this image of the samaritan woman came to life she was a leper of the society she was what a scripture calls an unclean woman she was not accepted in the society she was with many husbands and when she came to the well jesus was there and the text that came to my mind this morning was john chapter 4 verses 10 John 4:10 If only you knew what God is offering you today and he who is giving you this gift you would ask for the living water Jesus said to her If only you knew who God was and who is it that is offering you this living water you would ask for it God with us John 4:10 My dear sisters and brothers God is with us God is so much with us. And that is why in today's reading in 1 John the last two lines of the text tells us whoever has Jesus has eternal life. The word simply means if you possess God you possess life. If you possess Jesus you possess he who has it has Christ. in who has christ has eternal life as we draw close to this week of the epiphany i invite you to return to the text of the prophet isaiah the people that walked in darkness have seen a great light god is with us emmanuel let us ask the lord for the grace today that we may continue to seek the light amidst the darkness
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this bread to offer. Which it is given in human hands, I've made it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the wine, work of human hands. It will become our social, spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for all good and good of all his holy church. Receive with favor, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, to your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with angels and saints we declare your glory, and with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. In giving you thanks, Father, he broke it, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will pour out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis our Pope and Sebastian our Bishop and all the clergy, Remember our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her husband, the Blessed Apostles, with Saints Faustina and Saint John Paul II, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life to praise, to glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins upon the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We'll take a moment to offer that peace to one another. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. By this love of God who was revealed to us God sent his only begotten son into the world so that we might have life through him
Let us pray. O God, who touches through our partaking of your sacrament, work, we pray, the effects of its power in our hearts today, that we may be made fit to receive your gift to this very gift itself. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God. Prayer for all. God, God our, our merciful, merciful Father, Father, source of healing, cast the light of health and well-being on, on those who have been, been exposed to coronavirus, those who have contracted the disease, Bless, Bless them, them, protect them, them and, and bring them speedily to full recovery. God of wisdom, wisdom, bless medical, medical scientists and researchers throughout the world with insight and skill, dedication and fortitude, that their work yields knowledge and understanding, speedily finding a vaccine, treatments and deterrence to spread. Source of life, grant public health and government officials the strength to act swiftly and decisively, with compassion and understanding, in service to humankind, fighting this outbreak, threatening the lives of our brothers and sisters, nations and communities, young and old. God of the present moment, bring hope and courage to all who wait or work in uncertainty. Bring hope that, that you will make them the equal of whatever lies ahead. We, we pray, pray all this in the mighty name of Jesus, through the intercession of our blessed Mother Mary. Amen. Have a blessed day and stay safe. Same, Same to you, Father. Father.